Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Do we do? We'll start here in a couple minutes. Good morning. Good morning. Let me. I'll share the doc, uh, and we can go through it together. Thanks to the power of Zoom. <laughs> uh, share my dumb share. Come on, Zoom, don't make me look bad. Share screen. I'm going to pay a dollar to whoever who invents the, the AI agent to um, point where all the various buttons are on given video conferencing software. So it feels like it's the same. It happens to me. It only happens to the best of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. You might also put the link in the comments in case people are having trouble finding it. Like myself. <laughs> All righty. Speaking Here. from experience. <laughs> yes. All right. So there, hopefully you can see in the in the chat our link for today yeah. hello visible <laughs> <laughs> it's visible but it, but is it clickable <laughs> it was for me <laughs> that's that's the next uh the next problem to to solve okay i guess we should go ahead and get started um we'll go a little slow here at the beginning just to see if anyone else joins us so so first and foremost our uh fearless leader ricardo had to miss this one um you know it's it's uh fortunately for 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 good reasons we won't we won't say anything but uh, uh it is for good reasons and um uh hopefully he'll be back uh next next go around until then uh i will go ahead and run this and if anyone uh wants to step in at any point please please do Okay, so we'll just uh, go ahead and start from, hopefully you can see my screen. We'll just uh, run through it. So just a couple of things. We've a um, uh, little bit of bureaucracy here. We're, <laughs> we did a little bit of cleanup. Uh, Ricardo's not here, so we can go ahead and say that. Just just kidding, Ricardo. Um, added a, a couple of new links here to hopefully get around a, li a little easier, including, I'm just going to highlight them, the to the our working group charter, which admittedly is linked under the tag one, but just so there's a direct one there. Um, added some additional links here, a little bit of cleanup. So there's the white paper, which you can get to from a variety of places, but also added, um, again, to our just general Git repo. So hopefully for those who are new, uh, you know, where you can go to see things like the white papers and the glossary and the rules and, and hopefully most, most, most things that's this all assets, uh, link next is the all projects. Uh, and this is to do with uh, the ongoing efforts for the larger things, such as the, a, a given post, a you know the landscape, um, anything like that. And so maybe we'll just uh, take a, just a quick detour, just for all of our education here. Um, here's that first link. So again, because we live under tag runtime, uh, again for those who may be n new around here. Uh, we are a working group under tag runtime. And so here you can see ECNAI, that's us in our collection of various um, items here. Okay. Uh, for example, the glossary. Okay. So if you're writing papers, for example, you could do a pull request to add to here. You could reference this, uh, so on and so forth. Next is that, again, this is the link here, this all projects. And here, um, we're just trying to be a little more formal, make it a little easier to track uh, what's going on. Um, not 100% sure how the permissions here work work out, who has access to what. For example, I 
and not dramatically move the landscape over to done and there would be thunderous applause for its completion <laughs> but i don't have the the uh ability to to move it myself yeah so so so, so i i actually can do that but for people to be able to assign themselves. So I've created this dashboard for us to be able to formally track things. Uh, for you to be able to assign yourself to a thing, because this is, and this is here now, like I, I, I hopefully will be able to scale this effort to everyone in the group, so everyone is welcome to contribute and participate. The idea here is that if you comment to an issue, so you can create an issue, the process, like I, I tried to put it in the chat before, but if you go to the Slack, you know, I would say, you know, I want to work on something, you know, have critical mass, people like it, you like it, you go ahead and work it and create an issue. Um, you comment on the issue, you should be able to have access to the repo to assign yourself and do things. So I think the repo's structure is if you contribute, you get to assign yourself for some reason. Um, and uh, I've been trying to get around this, but I think, I think Ricardo had a service ticket for this to be able to, but, you know, I think this is not just for us, it's for tag runtime, everything in under tag runtime. And so now I think some people were able to assign themselves or I was able to assign people because they uh, they commented like deploying the AI with flow block series. This is something that Michael um, started. And so when he commented and added, uh, uh, you know, an act on, on, the, on the issue, he was able to assign himself to the JIRA. Yeah, so this is okay. just some context on how this works. Well, well, can can you do, do us a dramatic favor and slide that uh, number one twenty four to to done? Yep. Drum roll, please. Let's see. I guess we should also introduce ourselves again for anyone who's new. I'm Ron. You're used to seeing Ricardo. Um, hello. <laughs> yeah, so I'm moving this to. Well, here it comes. Get excited. All right. Okay. Can you refresh? Yeah. Hey. See how easy it is to get things done around here? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Odell. Okay. Uh, jumping back. So those are new. So hopefully that'll be make, make it a little easier. Now, of course, finding this actual document, uh, if you want to, to know how to get here, again, Ricardo does a good job of posting it before the meeting in the chat. Uh, but it's also in the header of our Slack. So up here in the top, you can see important documents. You can see GitHub, right? It's starting to get a little busy up here. But uh, anyway, this is where we try to short link uh, things as well. So again, if you're just having trouble finding anything, don't hesitate to ask. But uh, hopefully we're making it a little easier. Okay, um, okay, so moving on, we're skipping pending because there's we have questions about that. Okay, so um, we'll just get into our- Maybe maybe uh, the upcoming events as well, because like- uh, We're gonna cover that later. We'll, we'll, I got it here in the okay. agenda, yeah. Um, so yeah, be sure to add yourself if you're here. Uh, again, look in the chat for, for the talk. Okay, so um, we'll just go down the list here. Um, and uh, I'll scribe away. Uh, Marlo or Chen, uh, Wyman, are you, are you here? I want to talk about the sustainability AI. And I did try to link things. So if the link is wrong, please, please uh, correct it. Hi, um, I'm Marlo Weston, and there's also Chen here. I'm not, I don't see Wyman. He may be slightly late. So he's supposed to present part of the deck. But well, if we're ready to get started, we can get started. Yeah, please, please do. Chen, would you like myself or you to present? I don't care which. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Marlon, could you help cover some uh, overview and uh, vision of the uh, the slides? And then I will cover the sure. later details about uh, seven to uh, four to nine pages. We, we uh, can see the screen, uh, Bruno. I'll do it in your email. You oh, want yeah. to Actually, he has access to the doc. He can just share it, and then no one has to change. Okay, I guess we're changing. All okay. Right. Too many windows. Are you finding it, or am I? Uh, I'm. 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 I'm sharing. Could you? Could you see it? Yep. Sure can. 
Probably want to start from the first one. There you go. Okay. All right. We want to talk about a little bit about cloud native sustainable AI because part of when we look at these systems, they're very power hungry. And when you talk to the people in Europe, they get uh, sticker shock, I guess, for a bit lack of a better term, when they find out how much power these things run. So trying to figure out how to how to do AI well without breaking the bank, so to speak, is is the plan. And go ahead, Ted. So we want to talk about two sides of the same coin, and I saw the agenda, so we'll be very fast. Um, generative AI, I'm not going to read you. Um, basically, you have huge amounts of power with generative AI, and it's potentially more than Bitcoin after a time. I know right now, uh, Bitcoin is about 20 gigawatts, and ChatGPT is closer to 500 kilowatts, but that's not going to stay there. Um, so we, may, we need to be able to quantify the impact of the workloads in order and expand. The, the second part is explore ways to optimize its use. We do not need to be using ChatGPT for very simple things. So there may be cases where we just don't. Um, the rest of this is already in here. So those are just numbers. Here's the headlines currently now. And um, there are uh, regulations coming to get us. So we need to keep that in mind. And um, as corporations, we need to be careful to make sure that we are aware um, and proactive. Uh, do you want me to keep going, Chen? Oh, yeah. So uh, in order to um, um, better support the uh, making the, the AI, um, especially AI infers more sustainability, we already uh, have developed a lot of tools uh, such as Kepler uh, in the vendor community to uh, we add like a GPU support or the AI workload support on Kepler. So we already uh, make sure we can um, uh, kind of like observe the uh, energy consumptions of AI workload. And then uh, of course there, there needs some uh, further analytics about uh, the AI workload and understanding the uh, optimizations between the uh, AI workload performance, especially large language model inference performance throughput versus the energy consumption. And then we have some research on that as well. And then the objectives is we uh, eventually need some optimization engines to, um, uh, to observe the energy consumption and reduce energy consumption and make sure those AI applications also meet our demand and um, so so the, the the immediate action is uh, we have some uh, uh, some projects going on Kepler has been uh, since have sandbox already and then FM perf uh, is something uh, IBM decides to open source and to um, hopefully donate to CNCF as a sandbox project uh, to help benchmark uh, both the energy uh, and also the performance and also the throughput of uh, AI inference workload, particularly large language model inference workload um, across different types of accelerators. So as a, a more like a neutral vendor benchmarking uh, open source tool. And uh, so the third one is, we are also starting some uh, project uh, doing uh, optimizations of energy consumptions and in the future, probably carbon uh, footprint optimizations for um, inference. And uh, particularly the important metrics we initially start to consider and we welcome more suggestions and comments in this work is uh, to optimize, for example, the um, uh, in LM inference, the per token generation, uh, energy consumption, uh, per token uh, generation watt uh, uh, things. And then of course it's still an empty domain. So <laughs> anything uh, you, uh, any more suggestions or ideas we welcome here. And uh, so, uh, Thomas, are you online? Do you want to further introduce uh, IFM Perf project uh, we would like to open source and donate to CNCF? Sure, thanks, Chen. I, I can speak a little bit to the slide. So, yeah, as Chen mentioned, FM Perf is a project that we've been developing internally for a bit over one year. And we've just got the okay to open source this. So, we're in the process of, you know, cleaning up the code and should be out in the next few days. 
Um, so this is primarily a framework for um, benchmarking of LLMs on like cloud native platforms. So it provides functionality for automated deployment of LLM inference servers onto Kubernetes clusters using simple Python code. And right now we support uh, you know, multiple different inference servers. We support TGIS, which is IBM's fork of Hugging Face TGI, which we use in production today, as well as VLLM. Um, it also provides functionality for you know, load testing those deployed servers using some realistic inference workloads that we fitted to our you know, traces from our internal production grade systems with many you know, millions, hundreds of millions even of requests. Um, in terms of what it can do, it can extract you know, LLM specific performance metrics, things like time to first token, into token latency, as well as throughput. Um, and it can also extract energy efficiency metrics, as Chen mentioned. Um, and it does a bunch of kind of consistency checking. So it can also check that the inference server is behaving correctly when it's uh, subjected to a high level of stress. Finally, this is something that we use in production today. So it's integrated into our CI CD pipelines. We use it for automated performance testing of the models that we deploy in IBM products. So um, it's something that we've, you know, where we've hardened that we continue to harden. But now we're looking to um, grow this project with the support of a you know, bigger community. <laughs> That's it for me. Yeah, thank you. So uh, here as an action, we uh, um, we would like to call for joining of uh, AI working groups with um, sustainability tag. And then um, we would like to call for more help and put out a document specific to AI. Malu, do you have more to add? Um, I think this is a good start. I'm open to other suggestions as well, because I don't know if anyone here is even beginning to look at that. I do know NVIDIA, because one can share that um, NVIDIA has some metrics that we can pull from. Um, HPC, classically, the way they did it was initially HPC was, you know, all the performance, and that's kind of where we've been with AI for a while. And now we need to start looking at optimization. So that's power and cost, right? I know we often talk about carbon footprints, but when customers are looking at it, they're looking at cost, and that includes, you know, carbon credits or anything else. Um, that may be part of that. Yeah, this is this is great. Uh, is there more slides? Uh, yeah. I think that's it. That was it. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have a question. So for that call to action, is there anything you envision at the moment? Um, just spread the word, or or is there testing of well, the apps? Like, what, what what are you looking for here in the next steps? It's it's a few parts. Go ahead, Chen. A few parts. Yes, yes. Uh, in addition to like, uh, probably in the future, we will have some, uh, we plan to have some document about this, the sustainability of AI. We also call for uh, uh, contributions uh, also from accelerator vendors, for for example, to support FM perf. So we uh, have the uh, vendor neutral platform to understand better uh, the, the carbon or energy consumption aspect of large language models. Um, do, is, um, maybe go into much more detail later, but just curious, the actual metrics that it's producing, um, for like performance monitoring stuff, is there, is there like a, a shared dashboard? I know there's like various websites out there for, for things, but for this particular effort, is there like a shared dashboard that shows what's going on or people willing to share? So uh, the, there's the two two uh, two uh, open source project I introduced. One is FFPerf, right? So it's it basically triggered the, the benchmarking of all those large language models on different accelerators. And then for the observability dashboard, it's uh, a capital project. So capital project I think is right now uh, already support uh, fetching metrics from NVIDIA GPU. Also, uh, I'm not sure if uh, Malo do you know if it supports Intel GPU already? Or and AMD GPU, uh, so and then it does, for any, it does not at this point. Um, but we're looking to do that. So, so I, I'm specifically asking: Is there an actual shared dashboard? Not, not, not yet. Support not yet. Of uh, devices. Okay. That that that's what we plan to build in the community together uh, when FMPerf uh, is out. 
Well, maybe we could be the first with our own uh, training uh, exercises. Um, one, one, one thing to be aware of is, uh, and I brought this up to the Kepler community as well, is that networking isn't part of most of these projects. And when you go and you look, networking has a huge amount of the power use. So that's something that needs to be added to Kepler and other projects. And I do keep flagging it, but I haven't had the resources to go help. Uh, Adele, you got a question? Yeah, I, I was I was thinking because um, you know there was this issue. Um, I think I think I was talking to you, Marlo, or someone on the issue about how to collaborate. Since you are here as well as, well, uh, you know, as, well as Chen, uh, you know, one of the things that we're also working through is the qualification of projects getting into sandbox for incubation and so on. Uh, and you know, I want it to be that AI loves sustainability by default. And so I'm thinking <laughs> of, <laughs> of two things, right? Um, one is an optional question. I don't want to make it mandatory for, for AI projects coming into the ZNCF. Like, how are you tracking uh, uh, sustainability? How, what's your carbon footprint? What's your what per hour or something like that? Uh, that would be one thing. Maybe you can have input on that. I can link you the doc. Uh, maybe questions that you would ask a project coming into the CNC app, especially AI, um, to, to add. The other thing is, um, so you, you know, the issue is open of how to collaborate, right? And I think one way we've been doing collaboration so far is writing things up. Uh, there are other forms of collaboration, right? I think writing things up Initially, like, here's what has been done. And I don't know if you're working on a white paper of sorts or, or a paper or a blog or write up, something that we could also publicize and, and get more feedback from the community on how they're thinking about building AI the sustainable way, right? So this is, you know, I don't know if you have feedback on these two things. So the, I, I can tell you that we have a Green Refuse working group in the technical advisory group. and. The whole point of that is to try to figure out how to measure things when the project goes in. So we have a we have a first project and a first target on that. Um, but once that gets, you know, that one, that first one gets solidified, maybe the next one is an AI project that we start playing with. The problem is, as I said, like measuring things such as networking, that's not part of the projects yet. So you're missing a huge percentage of the power use. So one of the things that actually Human is working on as long as well as some of oh, the working group members is the, and I think there will be an items LLM summarizer it would be like maybe an idea out there to integrate maybe some of these metrics and export them somehow and show the community like, hey, we built an LLM application. Here's how we track metric. Here's how we can do it as well. And then write something about it. That, that, that could be an idea. But anyways, yeah, I just want to make sure that we have a future path of how to collaborate, that we can do that in synchronous as well. Um, I take it you all have a Slack for this? Yeah, there's a tag environmental sustainability group. There's also a working group, Green Reviews, also in there. They're both under the cloud native software foundation Slack, not the Kubernetes Slack. All right. Um, okay, we'll, uh, we'll try to get that out and share with, with, with the group. All right. Uh, I added else the, yeah, I added the link to, to the, to the Slack channel. Oh, yeah, and I, I think it'd be useful for at least one of us to continue attending to make sure that we have, uh, you know, a friendly working relationship. Um, our meetings are every one Monday and Wednesday at two hours prior to this time. Um, okay. Well, this is great. This uh, definitely seems like something we could work with or together. So thanks for thanks for doing that. Okay. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, Michael, are you, are you here? Uh, Michael, Michael, where are you? Uh, Michael is not here. Um, okay, so I uh, guess we'll go ahead and just at least cover it. So there is, let me just update the doc here. There is a Kubeflow blog, um, which I will share my screen again in a moment. Okay. Um, 
okay so back up here uh i switched from my goal to myself here's the theory to implement blog post so um please correct me if i'm wrong i believe we are now kind of at at the the point here of getting a probably a final round of review um which i can probably do this this weekend um and the goal just for everybody to know this this is our uh near first blog post so we consider you know something more like a white paper versus a blog post given uh kubeflow is a whole ecosystem unto itself uh for now we felt there was more need for actual actionable advice uh versus a more theoretical summary of kubeflow and so yeah, that's the michael was so kind to to pivot that direction and this is the the result of that so at this point um I think we just need this reviewed. And then procedurally speaking, people have asked for, for not just this blog, but for documents in general, we need uh, maybe a little more clearance uh, and clarity around how we publish things. And so, or how people um, can get in, get involved and create new content and then ultimately get it shared. So in this particular case, um, I don't believe we want to get too hung up uh, in, in bureaucracy, getting this first blog out, but, but we also probably need to, to know where it's going to land. Um, Adele, do you think, you think this will be just, uh, added to our shared Git for now? And, yeah. uh, so there, there are two ways we've done this in the past so that we, we have written only one blog post from the group, like one after keep gone and what happened. Um, what we've been doing so far is for example, with the news is we have a section of our own under the working group and we can build another section under the working group called blogs if we want to customize it and make it for only for like, it's clear, like if you go to the tag runtime website, then you go under the working group AI then you go to blog, then it's clear this is a blog about AI or something that we're working on. The other option that we have is to submit directly to tag runtime as a blog post. And, uh, I think it, you know, I would opt for the former option where we have an, our own uh, uh, set of posts, uh, but the other option is also open if people want to be, uh, if, if people want to write at tag runtime time level, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think for us, we probably more of the former. I think we want us over, over runtime. <laughs> no offense, runtime. <laughs> uh, this, uh, and then as far as the formatting and the beautification of it, is, do you think there's anything to do there with, with the CNCF or LF in general? Um, I don't think so, but, uh, at least not for blogs, but, uh, maybe something to consider is just this, you know, visual stylings of, of our blogs. We probably need to at least spend a little time thinking maybe, you know, copyright messages, uh, logos, you know, whatever, right. Uh, just to, to have a nice consistent, uh, look and purpose. Does that's anyone a, have any, Oh, sorry, go. Yeah. You know, I was going to say that that's a, that's a nice goal to have. I think, uh, we should not block like write-ups, but we, I think we should strike for that. I don't know, Kathy, if you wanted to say something, because I saw you came to account on, on screen. So. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good to have, you know, our own blog. Oh, so Ke oh Ke Kathy, you're having a hard time hearing you. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? No? Uh, we, we can barely hear you. I think I think you're audible, but if you can't improve, I think I can hear you in just enough. <laughs> but... Okay, never mind. Let, let me try to fix this. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I don't know what's wrong with my audio. Um, let me I think it's we, 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 we can hear you. Yeah. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Oh, now it's better or still the same? Good enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just want to say that, you know, I think it's good we have our own, you know, blogs or publications with this working group. We may need to get this, uh, you know, approved by the, um, maybe the CNCF. Um, yeah, I'll work with that. Uh, you know, the folks are the kind of this. You know, I saw quite some, uh, uh, some, I would say, some writings that I started. Uh, for example, I see there's a, a writing on the, uh, on the, uh, 
things is that the cloud, uh, the LLM use cases, the architecture reference uh, guide, and there are also challenges in, uh, um, in scheduling on uh, cloud native uh, AI uh, working. Yeah. And also there's an environmental thing. I just got that, which is very good. So I think we need to organize all of this. Yep. Okay. Yep. Agree. Agree. Okay. So um, I'll, uh, I'll you know, get back in touch with Michael after a, a final review here. And then, yeah, I like that. We'll, we'll uh, ping uh, the CNCF just to make sure everything's okay. And um yeah, we can at least get this one out the door, and I think that's good. And then we can get, go back and work work all the other other things we're doing. We don't we don't want to lose momentum. Michael was uh, very excited, and we're very excited for him. So we want to get this together uh, out. All right, uh, next uh, uh, project. We, we move on. Can I ask you a quick question? Oh, Andre, yes, um, please. Yeah, everyone. Um, thank you first of all for this. I wasn't aware of this initiative. I know Michael contacted me to ask for some, you know, for some testing, but I didn't know that he actually preparing blog posts. I think it is great. Uh, so if you need any help from the community, like outreach or other working groups, please reach out to me. And I'm happy to, you know, like uh, pull these folks to review before we can make it official. And maybe, you know, we can, you know, speak about some LLM use cases or some, you know, some recent use cases, especially what we've done, in a, like, you know, a couple of years and uh, you know like especially on the case side on the training side as well so um would love to contribute there um, awesome thanks you, you you're like the right person came out of nowhere <laughs> <and> boom <laughs> exactly exactly but I, I think it's great to you know educate folks about ecosystem and what you know what other people are doing in the cloud native space so it's definitely a great initiative awesome thank you yeah great okay uh all right, moving uh, to the next topic, uh, the project dashboard. What do we got? Yeah, I think I think we already showed that at the beginning. Uh, just wanted to call out where and how we track and show it on the screen. You already did that, did that wrong, so I think we we can check that out. Sorry. No, we're fast. <laughs> so, so we <laughs> we're fast. <laughs> All right, I went ahead and documented that, so that I stole your thunder. Um, <laughs> All right, next, landscape update. Uh, well, we, we did just do that. So a uh, cu couple of things. Um, I'll just go ahead and just show it for those who haven't seen it as well. Um, so we we made the cut, believe it or not. So thanks to everybody uh, and uh, Peter, who I don't think is here uh, for the real, for, quite frankly, for the real, we kind of stalled and then Peter jumped in and like kicked us in the behind and, and then we got it done. So uh, kudos to, to Peter. So here we can see we got this, what they call, uh, sometimes it's called different things. It says group, um, but it's also called category and subcategory in the code. So don't don't be confused with that if you happen to go looking around or see, see tickets and things. And so we were asked, you know, well, I should say we asked how we could make a cloud native AI landscape. And Chris, our fearless CTO, uh, suggested we do something like WASM. So you can see here, so we we went this this uh, group approach. So if you click on here, uh, we can see that it is indeed live. Now, so because this has probably been the biggest change in two years to the landscape, um, there's been some other groups asking around like, hey, could we do something similar? Uh, Chris is now um, kind of stepping back from this approach. He He's uh, generally speaking, wants everything to kind of be in the main kind of area. Um, so, you know, for, to that, we at least have our little special neck of, neck of the woods here. So please um, contribute. So now if you contribute, it is off of the official repos, right? Not, not mine where I had hosted it initially. So please come here and contribute. Um, we want to make sure it's, ref, you know, refreshed. We want to make sure it's useful. Uh, things are still up for debate, including these like sub uh, categories here. Um, good for now, but if people have other thoughts or opinions, we're, we're more than open to, to consider them. And then in theory, this will lead on to, to other work. So thanks to everybody who did this. It is officially, uh, live, uh, Nana, uh, please, yeah. I see your hand up. Yeah. Hi. Um, uh, this looks amazing. I do have two questions. So one is we went with CNAI and it stands for cloud native AI, but still it would be hard to understand for a new person to know what it is like 
serverless doesn't say CN serverless or CNS or CNWASM. So why is it cloud native AI and then CN AI? Um, sorry, say it last bit one more time. Clut, you're saying yeah, cloud so native. Why, why are we using the term CN AI and not just AI? I think that's the crux uh, good, of my question. Yeah, good question. I, I think that, I mean, as a brand, and I mean, I'm kind of speaking for myself here. Um, if we just say AI in places, then we get muddled with anything else AI. Uh, there, There's AI things happening outside of our working group, right? So the Linux mm -hmm. Foundation has its own AI effort. Other things in the world, I mean, Kubernetes was doing AI things before us, right? Like there's, there's lots of other things, even in the cloud native space that were AI uh, in, indirectly or even directly. And so for us, uh, in my opinion, it's more of a kind of a brand thing. When, you know, when we do papers or we do this, if we stick with one name, people know it's from our group. And I, I think that's kind of at least my intention here is to, um, but you're right, it is AI. So you could, in theory, because we are in the cloud native landscape, in theory, this might be AI as, as well. But yeah. uh, that's my my take on it. But uh, also, uh, I would have been if, happy if, either if way. As a, so I, I hear what you're saying, but if as a user, I come here, does it matter to me from which group it is coming? How does the group matter? Like yeah. here, we are not representing well, the group. It's for right? follow-up. It's follow up purposes. If you just see AI, who you're going to talk to the the project or the people who made it, this this thing with the landscape. So Naina, just just to add something, we have actually raised this before we publish, and we voted on it like as a group. Uh, so mm -hmm. like we got a, a, you know an executive vote from from Chris, the CDO, to CNI. have the preference. <laughs> Of CNI, but this exact topic was was raised. Uh, just a matter of like, you know, we're trying and testing things out. If it doesn't work out and people don't understand it, we're going to. So yes. is it is it possible? Probably it's the space issue, but is it possible to like spell it out at least? <laughs> we yeah, it's space yeah. issue. That that's yeah. in fact they <laughs> actually want to undo the others. <laughs> right, because yeah, yeah, you're you're hundred percent correct in these questions and thinking absolutely. Uh, and we have suffered yeah. through these very same questions and yeah, we'll suffer I through can, them again. I, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll have to. And my second question was, I know you said that we can, uh, we, we work on it, but do you mean is like, for example, uh, there is Kubernetes. So I'm assuming that general orchestration, some other project, if that should be highlighted here. So we open a PR to this page, like how, how do we contribute? That's right. That's right. So, so there's okay, um, okay. up here in the top right. This, as long as it's correct, <laughs> should, the GitHub link here should take you to the page and should tell uh, you okay. how to edit. And it's actually quite simple. Uh, there's one document called Landscape YAML, um, and that's the thing you edit, and then you do the PR, and then you know note why you're changing something, and generally that's that's it. the 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 harder part was coming up with the whole grouping to begin with, but now. Right. Now that we can add individual things, the process is much uh, more streamlined. In fact, the only outstanding issue, um, which we're still working on, is who is who should be the one to approve it, right? Mm -hmm. So in our case, the landscape was, by, and I'm not knocking anyone's experience or knowledge who was the approvers, but it was more general, right? It's like, we manage the landscape, so that's all of mm -hmm. the landscape. But they may know nothing about AI, right? And so hence us. And so we're like, well, should we be the ones to approve? what goes in here or should you, or should both of us? So we're, we're working with Chris and crew, uh, the landscapers, um, to figure that out. Thank you. Uh, yep. You're welcome. Cla Claudia. Yeah. Um, so for the, the specific task of adding new, new components, how, how does it work with the image? Right, uh, I, so you upload a, a logo um, yeah, to I, the repo. How do I download it, making sure that I'm not mess, uh, messing up with copyrights? Like, where where do you get the images? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So so there is there is a central repo, Claudia. Uh, CNCF has a bunch of images that are safe and copyrighted and everything that we could use. Uh, so the first. The first route is go there, find the image. Uh, that's that's what has been done so far. Um, if the image is not there, then 
would have to go through the process of like making sure this is approved uh, or not. But I think mo the majority has already been existing Linux Foundation and we're a part of the Linux Foundation. So we carried over whatever existed. We're not adding that new logos here. There is, you know, I don't think so, so far. Uh, or at least I haven't seen a net new logo that wasn't already something that we either had in the CNCF repo or the Linux Foundation repo. Okay. So is there, wait, what, where do I find that page? Yeah, I'll give you, I'll post the link. Thank you. Yeah, and if it isn't there, um, I mean, if it's a public logo, there's generally not much to worry about. Um, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, we're, if we had said we were actually sponsored by them or something of that nature, then then I would be worried, but we're not. So, I mean, maybe they sponsored the Lexfound, but that's not this. So I, I would not uh, sweat too much. Uh, there is a format, though. It is, um, shoot, what is it? It is PNG, I believe, PNG only. Um, and lots of people nowadays do SVG and things like that. So... Uh, just consider that. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, so that is out. Thanks again for all the help. All right. Next, uh, event planning. Um, so let's go through this real quick. So a uh, couple of things. Uh, what I would offer or ask others to do, if you think there's an event of interest, to be sure to to add it here. And if, um, and specifically, if you are talking at it. Um, please let us know, or if you're working a booth, just so we know people who are around here are, are active and out there and that's just, you know, you may run into each other at the conferences, right? So that's, that's my main, uh, ad here. A couple things, AI dev summit that's in South San Francisco. Uh, I do want to share something. Um, here is a link to it's next week, uh, Please only use this if you plan on coming. It'll get you a expo pass uh, as soon as I learn how to use chat. Where is the chat? Okay, there, there it is. Um, it's got a limited number, like 50 or whatever. So please uh, get yourself uh, a pass if you like. I will be there. Um, I will specifically be there representing the, the Internet Society. <laughs> but if, um, uh, if you were there, I will also say hello. <laughs> even without talking about the internet society uh, anyway general purpose ai conference uh please join join me there uh the, the we do not by the way i should say Cl the cloud native compute foundation doesn't have as far as i'm aware anything going on there but i will be talking to people about us and our projects there as well not just the internet society um next or actually is anyone going i mean i just gave the ticket but is anyone here going I know everyone's pretty remote. All right, next is uh, AI Dev Paris. Um, we are still uh, trying to get a booth there. Uh, Ricardo has a ticket open for that. I will be there. I'm speaking on the one of those days. Um, and again, if you happen to to be there, please please meet up. Um, it is a Linux Foundation event, so um, we will. Be there, and I'm sure in force, and I know other people are going uh, as well from from around Slack. So if you happen to be there, please please meet up with us, and maybe if the CNCF has a booth, maybe we can have one representing our working group, or at least be at the they're representing the working group. I will mess message, message uh, everyone about us on stage, and I actually do have a favor to ask everyone here. Uh, my talk is actually on CNAI. Uh, it's called CNAI Top to Bottom, and the idea is to to educate everyone else what's going on in our little neck of the woods. So I'm going to boil all of our notes and projects and everything that's going on. And that's basically the presentation. Um, if anyone has anything specific, they would like to add anything that's looking into the future, please let me know, let us know. Um, and even if it's not set in stone, it could generate interest in what we're doing uh, and help us get connected with other people and efforts. So please um, help me help us. <laughs> so that's that's that. And it all, I expect to see you there with your family if necessary. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Next, uh, we got uh, uh, Hong Kong coming up. Uh, CFP just closed uh, a couple days ago. Peter is is uh, put in a paper for for us there. So good luck to to Peter. Uh, he asked us if we could join along. Unfortunately, my bank account said no <laughs> for for my participation. But if anyone happens to be in Hong Kong uh, during this, uh, please contact Peter. Um, and maybe we can have a more show of force at uh, KubeCon Hong Kong. Okay. Uh, finally, same thing. North America is coming up. Uh, CFP is still open, uh, but it is running out of time. We got like two more weeks, uh, so two and a half more weeks. So please, if you're going to submit uh, something, please do. Um, if you're looking to partner with people on talks, uh, please mention it here in in, in the chat. Um, I should actually add one more that's out here. Uh, uh, no, I just said it. SecureCon. Um, actually, this goes here. Sorry, I got, got my notes wrong. Check. SecureCon Seattle. Uh, so Boris, uh, who is who is perpetually busy, but he is here in spirit, um, is him and me got a paper there on uh, Zero Trust AI. And um, it is related to the CNCF and Linux Foundation as well. So again, if if you're there, please join us, and we'll we'll hang out and uh, get the word out. Okay. So if anyone else has other events, please um, share them as well. Okay. Anybody got any questions or thoughts? All right. Nope. Oh. Uh, again, for AI Dev Summit, if you buy, they're actually, by the way, the AI Dev Summit, again, if you're going to go, I'd rather you use the tickets, but in a couple of days, um, feel free to use the pass uh, because it's also virtual the week after. There's a follow-up event that's virtual. So um, if there's still tickets at that point, feel free to use it and attend the virtual uh, over re review. Okay. Um Let's see, where are we at? So event review, did that. Uh, publishing guidance, we'll skip this for now. We kind of discussed it a little. We got enough to go on. Uh, VJ, I see you typing, <laughs> or at least I see your name showing up. Uh, so next is the scheduling AI white paper. So we'll take a look at this. So this this effort by by uh, being led by VJ in, in company is a kind of boiling that ocean of what's going on uh, with scheduling and AI on cloud native systems. And so this paper has been worked on for, for quite a while. Um, I think we are nearing completion. So similar uh, similar questions are coming up to uh, about the Kubeflow blog we mentioned earlier from Michael. We need to uh, do a final pass on this. Again, probably present this to the CNCF to get one last uh, approval or disapproval on what's what we're doing and so from that or, point before you before one can I ask a quick question since Vijay yes. is here uh, I'm yeah. just like wondering, so uh how do you feel about this diagram I kind of like updated this today in the morning okay. uh, this one? does it look better uh, versus the bottom you mean the, no, no, the, no, one no, the top the top one right so I think the question was the model register actually like you know um in training tuning plus development stage of life cycle not only like on, on the training plus serving. That is why we try to combine them. Um, it is like, you know, if you need to, I, I, um, basically not like the final workflow, right? Because it doesn't have like racks, right? Also like it doesn't have some other, you know, um, uh, other techniques, right? And more kind of complex stuff. Like, so we just try to make it simpler initially. Just want to hear uh, maybe Vijay, your perspective on this. I, th I think it's awesome. Um, sorry, uh, I've been driving, so I've not been able to add notes. But uh, uh, but uh, but thanks for the diagram itself and for incorporating this update. All right, thank you. That um, sounded yeah. like an approval. <laughs> it looks great. Uh, so so we could take out the second one, this bottom. Yeah, this is like the old one. You can remove them. Boom! Look at that. Getting it done. <laughs> Okay, uh, v Vijay, since uh, sounds like you're driving, but uh, uh, any any um, aside from just maybe a final pass, make sure kind of reads correctly. Uh, any anything you wanted to highlight before we try to uh, you know get this published? 
barring any other inputs. Yeah, sure. So, okay. Um, I, I think the number one thing, uh, frankly, this is my first thing, uh, you know, doing it for the AI working group of which uh, you, Adele, Ricardo, of course, are the seniors. I'm learning from you guys. But uh, um, yeah, so talking about the white paper itself, uh, I mean, uh, talking about the document, it's uh, it, it has been quite a journey, uh, but, but the key part of of the of the white uh, of this document is it has at least for me it has incorporated a lot of uh, community feedback and um, uh, and i think that's the key to you know for for this document to be something uh, that i i feel and, and uh, it looks like many feel that uh, you know that we can put it out there not sure if this was the question <laughs> Ron. No, uh, no, but uh, yeah yeah, but yeah. yeah, if at all, yeah, like like Haron was saying, this is this is the final pass. Uh, if at all you feel there's anything wrong, please just let us know. Um, if you feel that anything needs to be improved, please just let us know. Also, request let us know as soon as you can. And uh, when you let us know, uh, um, if you can just add even one line of, uh, you know, sometimes just a question doesn't help, uh, you know, because uh, then we are wondering what the question is. Uh, even one line of uh, content. And then, uh, you know, it's easier for us to understand. It, it leads to lesser backlog and quicker updates. That's right. That's right. Good point. Um, I think for me, um, you know, again, I'll, uh, VJ, I will commit to doing an in-depth pass this, this weekend. Uh, and then I will also ping uh, everyone in, in the CNCF to, to you yeah. know, get their final say. And again, if, we'll also give people time. So if anyone wants to contribute... I know it's uh, Thursday, but uh, this has been going on for a while. We really do uh, would like to get this to the next step. And by the way, this is not the end, right? This is version one, right? So we doesn't have to be perfect. But of course, VJ, it is perfect. But it doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, we can edit in, you know, from minor edits could just happen to actual uh, version updates. We can, uh, you know, handle that as they come. So anyone read? Oh, I'm sorry, category. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I was wanted to ask confirmation of when when are we planning on getting this out so next week or something. Uh, my take is is if we could finish any like adjust adjustments by say midweek, that would be great, and okay. then that yeah. gives. Yeah, I think that that's some... that's yeah. There are some. Um, some uh, paragraphs that really need some lob because uh, the the writing is very you know maybe just thrown ideas there but it really is, is not doesn't read very well so I was also trying to work on that um, yeah but but I think yeah mid next week that would okay the... do you do you think you're gonna put a pretty solid effort in like. Yeah. hours of time because because if you are then maybe we should do them at the different times so we don't step on each other's uh oh okay toes. Um, maybe i can like drop a message on slack and say okay. hey i can speak up okay mm -hmm. perfect yeah nothing worse yeah. than doing something than then someone undoing something and then I'm doing, yeah 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 that does not fun yeah okay All right I think there are some comments um also i made some modification also put in some comment some comments uh, yeah, let's resolve all those comments, and then I think it's great if Claudia, you know, Ronald, you can, you can, you know, go through it and make it consistent, you know, make it read well, you know, coherent, that would be good. Yep, we and, got and it. Then, uh, <laughs> yeah, just, just want to add that, uh, Kathy and Claudia, your, your comments are welcome. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. That BJ will let you have the honor of the final pass. <laughs> once we're done <laughs> yeah uh okay anyone else have any uh comments on here before we move on just got a few minutes to go all right awesome so look at that we're gonna have two two new uh post uh papers coming out hopefully in the next couple of weeks this will be be great we could share them at uh ai dev paris and AI dev summit this will this will be great okay um where are we we are up here all right, again, we are here. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, summarizer. Who would like to summarize us on our summarizer? 
I don't know if, uh, let's see, a uh, few minutes here. I added this because uh, I think it's, there's, there has been some updates going on. Um, I can, I can share what's happened, I guess. Um, so recently I think the, the state is, there is a way to read out, uh, you know, look at the transcripts, put them in a doc, a summary, summaries by the LLM. And those, uh, this is basically a GitHub action. And so that GitHub actions gets you the document and then something extracts the knowledge out of these documents and creates a dashboard where you can go and look at the knowledge graph relating all the items together. And so you can go and see, let's say this conference uh, had these stocks and these stocks had these like word clouds. And so you can go and press on the knowledge graph and, and look what happened out there. Um, and I think that's that's where it is right now. Uh, there there is fast progress by by folks on this repo. Um, so yeah, that's the flow basically. Um, yeah, so this is great too. So one thing is this is not um, uh, cloud native for AI. This is AI for cloud native. So we have you know the two sided coins, uh, the two sided coin as you know as we had started, but it also showcases. Uh, you know, the stack to other folks who are willing to or want to build similar applications um, and have the, don't have the capability or the skills, they can look at this repo and also learn and contribute. Uh, the artifact of this could also be, you know, to my suggestion previously about the sustainability, we could integrate sustainability, we could integrate any other form. And then later on, we could also look into how to deploy it on, you know, let's say using Kubeflow or some other, uh, tooling that we advocate for in the cloud native landscape. So this is uh, step one. We're going top down versus bottom up, but there are other initiatives that could also start bottom up. Like we're, you know, we're showcasing how to deploy a, an AI workload that is ready on a cloud native environment, uh, let's say on Kubernetes. I think this is yeah. great idea. Like I'm wondering, do I have any infrastructure where I, I remember like we've discussing this before to give some infrastructure for people to play with, right? Yeah. I think uh, so. With there, there are some discussions with Gen AI Commons to build some common infrastructure for AI in general, so we could reuse yeah. that. Uh, but this is a work in progress. Uh, for now, I think this is uh, this is using uh, uh, you know a free tier things uh, to to get this to a, a POC uh, ready uh, repo. Uh, but this this is not to scale or to be deployed at scale. Like we don't have that shared environment, but the Gen AI Commons is one venue where we could seek infrastructure and sponsorship uh, on the other. Yeah, because like if you're going to just reuse the, you know, like the the free GitHub actions, you, you'll have just a limited amount of resources to serve for LLM, right? Which means yeah. like, those, yeah, the question, like, would it be sufficient, right? We would to prototype this workflow. <laughs> If if yeah, if this is to be this is not scalable as is, uh, or at least it will be. You need to replace it with hey, your environment variable for OpenAI, yeah. your environment. Variable. <laughs> so yes, if if we were to deploy this at scale for people to access, uh, we definitely need a venue for uh, for doing that. And, and generative uh, and Gen AI Commons is one, but we're looking to explore other venues as well. Okay, which platform, which hardware are you running this? Are you hosting it somewhere? This is this is uh on this is using APIs uh, at the moment like uh, open a, open uh, open AI's APIs and so as you see like all of all of it APIs we're using GitHub Action the free tier, uh the the Google Client API, uh yeah there's no there's no on-prem infrastructure that this gets deployed on in to my knowledge, so far maybe Human did something on his environment, but I don't think this is uh, to scale. Yeah, we're, we're not, we're not really uh, deploying this on a, on an on-prem infrastructure maybe, somewhere. Maybe next meeting we can uh, have a demo of this. Yeah, that, that, that was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. You know, have a demo, you know, show the steps. So are all these already developed? Sorry? I mean, is all this workflow is already developed? You have everything 
Deploy. Yeah, so you have you have you have actually yeah you, you can actually go and deploy it and you're gonna get if you did it correctly you're gonna get to the point where you have a dashboard yes it's just one talk because we don't have many tokens uh, to 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 spend so it's just a sample talk from one conference that shows you the knowledge graph on a dashboard but uh, not the scale again okay. uh, so maybe next time we should discuss or start to discuss venues for scaling this out. But I think it's still like the stage is still prototyping. It's to, it's a good stage that we're at uh, where we can show something. So a demo would make a lot of sense for folks to get excited about this. Um, but yeah, a uh, lot of just sorry to interrupt. Uh, we're at time. Uh, please stay and keep talking. But uh, we're at, we're at time uh, in case recording ends and people wonder what's going on. So uh, please continue. I'm done. I'm just yeah. So far, have a look. Uh, give feedback. There's a call Kathy, for this. By uh, th this is the no code solution. Uh, don't don't let them don't let them trick you. They just dragged a bunch of arrows together, and this thing was coded. Oh. No, for real, they, they, they did a, a lot of work and also work. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of work. Uh, I, I took a look at the, the, the uh, transcript summarizer Python code, and right now it's using uh, Watson X uh, and uh, using Mistral model. So Watson X, uh, uh, I think uh, for the free account, you can do a lot of uh, generations. <laughs> so uh, right now it's still st scale. And then if you hit some limit, it might have some limit on the free tier users, like how many requests you can generate, but if you spread out across uh, hours, you may get more. You can take it to a certain point, but again, like yeah, we we need uh, we need to run this somewhere. <laughs> right. So yeah, let's get this thing demoed. That that would be another another thing to show as a, a artifact from the group. So that that would be great. Yeah. All right. Anyone else have any questions? And I guess we should wrap it up. Comments. Okay. We look forward to Ricardo's return next time. And uh, I guess have a good day, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you. See you soon.